What is going on, guys? Gray here today. I'd like to give some beginner tips for anyone t coming into Elder Scrolls Online here in 2021. I know the Blackwood chapter is just released on PC. It's going to be coming out here in a few days on console. There's going to be a lot of new players coming to the game, a lot of returning players coming to the game that have not played in a really long time. So if you're starting out with a new character, I just want to give you some tips to kind of help you out along the way. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Never buy armor from an NPC. You're going to get tons of armor drops in the game. There's no need to go buy armor for an NPC and waste the valuable gold that you're just starting out making when you first make your uh, your character. The next thing is, like I said, you're going to find a lot of, uh, of armor along the way. Whatever you do not have equipped, there's no need in saving the rest. Uh, armor is at a 160 max, so when you get to 160, that is where you want to start picking up gear. And gear is going to drop at whatever level you are. So... If you have a load of gear in your inventory that's, you know, let's say you're level 20 and you have a bunch of level 10, 15, you know, whatever the case may be, 16 gear, there's no need in keeping it. You can either break it down and get material from it. You can either sell it to a vendor to make you some quick gold. It's a good way to start making gold right off the bat if you're a new player. Or you can take it to a crafting table, whether that be a clothier station, a woodworking station, or a blacksmith station, and uh, research those items. If you want to be a crafter later on down the road, it's the best to start researching as soon as possible. If you're not really concerned about that, like I said, you can just sell it for gold. Or if you want to break down some items. Uh, if you want to research and break down, that is a good way to learn crafting as well. That way you have some items researching and you can break down the others and start getting materials to have for crafting later down the road. Now, when it comes to breaking down things, the only issue you're going to have here is it's going to fill up your inventory very quickly. So just keep that in mind. If you do have ESO Plus, you have access to the, uh, the crafting bag, which has unlimited space. All of those items that you break down, all the things that come from all the gear will go into that crafting bag automatically. But if you do not have ESO Plus, you don't have that uh, unlimited crafting bag space, you will start to fill up your bag on your character very, very quickly if you break down gear all the time. Make sure that you level or unlock all the different levels for the gear that you have available. So what I'm meaning is there's lightweight gear, medium, and of course heavyweight. What you're going to want to do to unlock the lines for each of these is equip three pieces of light and you will unlock the light skill line. Unlock uh, To unlock the medium, you will equip three pieces of medium at one time. And to unlock the heavy, you will equip three pieces of heavy at one time. Now what this will do, you will see once you equip those three pieces of any weight of gear, you will see it pop up and say that skill line is unlocked. And then whatever you're wearing, it's just going to rank that up you know, as you're just going along and doing whatever you're doing. So you don't have to do anything else after that. So as long as you have a piece of that gear on, it's going to rank it up. So some people like to go in and make sure they have one light, one heavy, one medium on. Once they have all three skill lines unlocked, that way they can rank it up at the same time. Some people may want to go ahead and do you know, all heavy at once, all medium at once, all light at once. Whatever the case may be, the more you have on of that piece, the quicker it's going to level up. Uh, whenever you hit level 10... Uh, on your character you will get a free mount now this is something that has been added over the last few years they have the reward system now when you're ranking from 1 to 50 uh, so there's no need to go to the stable and purchase a horse right from the right off the bat right from the start just wait until you hit level 10 you will get that free mount reward within your reward system also look around for sky shards lore books anything anything you see that's like that make sure that you're when you're out adventuring make sure you take your time and look around sky shards you collect so many of those you're going to get skill points for every three you collect uh, lore books are great to have. You might find Mages Guild books. You might just find some regular lore books. You might be interested in reading if you like lore of, you know, MMO style games. Make sure you're taking your time when you're out uh, adventuring and checking out all these things so that you can make sure you pick all these up and you don't have to go back later and look for them again if you need extra skill points because you're going to need them and the Sky Shards are a great way to get them, uh, get some extra ones along the way. Uh, you can use Way Shrines to fast travel and you also can use boats if you're in certain areas you will see that there's docks that have boats that will take you to different zones you can use those to travel or you can use a way shrine to fast travel just remember if you're standing at a way shrine you can choose to go to a different way shrine in a different zone in your map you know when you pull it up and you can travel that way for free but if you're standing away from the way shrine and you click you know you want to travel to a different way shrine it will charge you so make sure when you click that way shrine that you're standing close to it and it's not showing it's going to charge you to send you to that area if you're standing close enough, it's going to send you to that area for free. So just like I said, just remember, if you're out somewhere and there's no way shrine around whatsoever, a lot of people will just, you know, find one on their map, click it, and of course it's going to charge them gold to travel there. But if you are standing at it, it will not charge you gold whatsoever. It is free to use. But you can also, like I said, use those boats to travel to different zones if you would like to go somewhere else. You can kind of just look around for those boats at the docks in different towns, and they will take you to just all kinds of areas and all kinds of zones within the game. 
Uh, make sure you log in every day if you're a new player. Even if you're not going to play, make sure you log in and get your login daily reward. Every day they give us daily rewards. Sometimes you will get things from potions to XP scrolls, things that will help you out along the way, especially if you are a brand new player. Uh, join the Mages Guild and the Fighters Guild as soon as you make a new character. As soon as you get into the very first town that you're, uh, you're whatever faction you decide to choose, whether you're AD, DC, uh, Ebonheart, Pack, it does not matter. Wherever you're at, go and find the Mages Guild, go and find the Fighters Guild and join those immediately. That way you can start ranking those up along the way while you're adventuring and doing everything else. Uh, search all bookshelves, urns, and boxes, uh, and bags, and, and sacks, and there's going to be tons of stuff that you can loot. This is going to give you a lot of different information. The bookshelves will help you level up certain lines. Uh, you will also learn different lore. Also, the urns, the, the boxes, the sacks, they're going to give you different kinds of materials. So make sure that you're looting all of these things and checking all these things out. Kind of goes along with the, what I was talking about, taking your time, looking for sky shards and things like that. If you see books, bags, uh, boxes, make sure that you're looting those as well. Uh, use your food. It really does help. A lot of times you're going to get food within your rank up system. Make sure you're equipping that food. That's going to help out. It's going to give you more health, more stamina, and more magic. It is very, very helpful when you first start out. And it becomes even more helpful along the road or along the way down the road when you're a veteran player like I am. You've played for a long time. Everyone that plays the game still uses food because it helps out with, like I said, whatever stats they're needing. So make sure even when you first start out that you're using that food that you have. Uh, do not save potions that are lower than your level. You're going to get a lot of potions along the way. There might be magic potions, health potions, stam potions. Uh, whatever your level is, keep those. Uh, if you have a bunch that are lower level than you, just sell them to a merchant. It'll make you some extra gold. There's, once again, there's no need in holding on to that low level stuff the whole time. Uh, buy bag upgrades as soon as possible. I know it's going to get expensive. The first few are not that bad. After a while, they get very, very expensive. But that is one thing that I recommend using your gold on when you first start playing is bag space because you're definitely going to need it. And last but, not le uh, last but not least, make sure you use your XP scrolls. A lot of people will use them the entire time they're playing. I don't really recommend using XP scrolls during you know, like just doing, you know, your, your main quest and things, because sometimes those quests are really long. You might be out, like I said, looking for sky shards, looking through bags, picking up stuff. And that's going to waste a lot of your XP scroll because you're not getting the maximum, you know, kind of uh, amount out of it. But if you're going in and you're new and you have some friends that maybe want to play some dungeons or do some things, you know, they're going to give you a lot of XP. Use those XP scrolls. Then you can use them however you want, but just make sure you maximize your time when you're using those xp scrolls so you can get the most xp out of it and rank up as quickly as possible anyway guys i hope these tips helped you leave me a comment with your thoughts and of course if you like the video hit the like and i'll catch you all next time peace